All right. Well, uh, Holly uh, has uh, you know been a couple times. She's our new rep from Beach and brought us some pretty good stuff. Uh, we're not going to hold that Pinotage from South Africa against her. She didn't know us. Uh, you know, obviously, we didn't like Pinotage. But, uh, you know, these Southwestern wines really nice. Maybe just a little expensive. You know, with so many things going on sale from Napa Valley, you know, it seems like these wines are still you know, at their regular price. They were like two years ago. But, uh, you know, the Sauvignon Blanc from them had that lovely fresh white grapefruit and lemon citrus on the nose with some melon and kind of fresh baled hay nuance. Uh, fresh and uh, bright on the palate with the lovely zesty approach to the finish leaves the tongue salivating for food a touch of minerality some ripe melon and citrus there really nice bottle of Sauvignon Blanc but 31 bucks man you know Sauvignon Blanc one of the best values for a cheap date coming out of Napa and man we got a lot of stuff at the $20 price range that's just good next up the Salvestin Retaggio and um, well I guess Holly didn't know how we felt about Sangiovese wants some Napa Valley either, but uh, this wine's not bad, pretty good, you know, maybe again just a little expensive for, you know, Sangiovese blend, it's got Cabernet Merlot and Cabernet Franc, uh, it was opened uh, a day ago, so pretty nice still, still open, still uh, pretty fresh, lovely floral nuance there, some fresh earth, and uh, the focus here on the ripe berry fruit though, smooth and drinkable style with a little sour cherry nuance, similar to what you'd get in uh, Tuscany, but distinctly California, ripe, lush, and uh, delicious. And uh, you know, maybe a little more, you know, likable than most Sangioveses from California, but still a little bit expensive to me for what it was. All right, the Cabernet from Napa, an excellent Cabernet, you know, and this is an estate vineyard just south of St. Helena. There's a touch of Merlot added to the mix. Fairly earthy style, uh, earthy, you know, driven style, mineral driven style of Cabernet with some nice fruit there, cassis, red currant berry fruit, really ripe and forward and seductive. And a nice hand of toasty oak there. You know, pretty well-balanced bouquet there of earth, uh, oak, and fruit. And then big and chewy on the palate with la layers of spice and uh, that red berry, currant, cherry fruit showing. And a nice amount of minerality. And uh, maybe just a bit dry on the finish right now. Could just need some time. A lot of these 2006s. A little bit tannic, but excellent juice. Should be for 70 bucks. And then uh, the Cult. Ooh, Cabernet from Napa. All right, someone actually named a wine, Cult. Of interesting uh, non vintage wine, even more interesting. And this wine had some nice fine herbs, a touch of eucalyptus to the currant and cherry uh, cassis berry fruit on the nose, a touch of fresh plowed earth. But the focus here on that ripe cherry berry fruit you know, something that you know, people when they make a kind of generic wine like this, they're trying to hit the masses in terms of the style. And uh, maybe a bit of funk and a little Brett kind of a band aid no nuance showing there on the finish, also, but uh, pretty nicely balanced, pretty, pretty good stuff. But again, they're a little lofty on the prices here today, Holly. What's going on? All right, next up, we had some stuff from Alexander Valley Vineyards. Well, I haven't tasted their wines in quite some time. 